Question 16 in the figure below, BD is perpendicular. So BD, this line right here is perpendicular to DE, this line, and C and AB. So perpendicular means it makes a right angle. So we have two right angles, and it means that these lines are parallel. What is the length of CD? So because those are perpendicular, we just created two right triangles. And because those are parallel, these are vertical angles, which are congruent. So we have two congruent angles in two different triangles, which means they are similar. So now we can use our side ratios um, to find our length. So let's see what we have. Oh, they don't line up. We have 52 that aligns with 20. But the side we need for x is not there. We have to solve for it. And there's something we know about right triangles that we can solve for it. Do you remember? Right triangles are a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? It's our Pythagorean theorem. So c is always the hypotenuse, and a and b we call the legs. It doesn't matter which order they go in, but it's those two sides that make up the right angle. So we need to solve this. So for this one, across from the right angle is our hypotenuse at 75.4. And then the other sides, it doesn't matter which one, this will be 52. So I have a squared plus b, which is 52 squared equals c squared, so 75.4 squared. So from here, you can get the big numbers or you can keep them. I'm going to keep it squared for a minute so I don't have to write them out. I'm going to subtract the 52 squared on both sides. So I have a squared equals, and now I'm going to type it in with the squares instead of having to do that twice. So 291, 2981.16, and then to get rid of a square, we take the square root. So now I'm going to square root that, and it's 54.6. So this is 54.6, and now that's going to align my corresponding side with x. See how those are corresponding? Um, 52 over 20, I'm going to reduce that to get a smaller number. It's 13 fifths. And now we're going to cross multiply. So 13x equals... 5 times 54.6, which is 273. Divide both sides by 13, and that's going to give us our value. So this one took a little longer, and we had to remember the Pythagorean theorem. So that is 21.